Top story this half hour, state of Rhode Island is working with local nonprofits to combat homelessness in the state. The McKee administration announcing nearly $10 million have been made available to address the issue. Jake Holter joining us live right now with a breakdown of how the funds will be distributed. Yeah, Patrick, the first of three informational sessions about this is being held today. The Rhode Island Department of Housing joins the Housing Resources Commission and the cities of Providence, Pawtucket and Woonsocket to provide about $9.4 million to groups who work in homelessness prevention. This funding can be used to operate emergency shelters, conduct homeless outreach, provide case management services and make rent payments through rapid rehousing programs. The state is now accepting applications. Every application is evaluated on the extent to which they follow these five principles. Reducing unsheltered homelessness with an emphasis on the upcoming winter, emphasizing housing oriented and permanent solutions, offering high quality, client-oriented approaches, pursuing sustainability, cost-effectiveness, and responsible stewardship of resources, and contributing to data sharing and data-driven decision-making. Applications are due by August 3rd for most projects and by August 31st for seasonal warming centers and shelters. The first informational session begins this morning at 9.30 via Zoom. You can find a link to that and additional information by visiting our website, WPRI.com. Live in studio, Jake Holter, 12 News.